Hi guys, this is Ratchet Raw, and we are playing Criminal Case Conspiracy, Case 45, upon the end. Let's unlock Seeds of Destruction number 3, and there is something weird about the core, which I already had a feeling about, and we are going to find out what it is. Katrina, we thought for next bird of fields to give Agrivito some monopoly on corn in Springfields. And when we found the replacement seedlings growing in their warehouse, we still believe it was part of the same plan. Sell it to the farmers and make a profit. The farmers are desperate, so if we hadn't shut Cornfest down, Agribidos would have made a killing. And thank goodness we did shut it down because Dr. Dresch Mr. Dresher's unrest revealed there's something wrong with the corn. Wow, what did I just say? Do your corn can grow in car fields? But there's something else about it that the warehouse supervisor refused to tell us. We have to go back to the warehouse and examine this corn ourselves before it gets out of the population at large. Katrina, sorry to drop, but Ozzy Piper would like to speak with you. He says it's very important. What's so important that we are gonna get from a uh, climate change activist? I wonder if it pertains to his attempt at burning of the Agribidos HQ. Katrina, you can go with Joe to see Mr. Piper when we are back from the warehouse. Let's do this. Okay. Seeds of destruction are going to be the cord. Okay, let's go for see what Osford wants. He said, Katrina, I feel terrible about trying to burn down Agni Beatles. I'll never like I never I'll never like big corporations, but the field fire did enough damage to the environment already. And speaking of the fires, I have an idea to help resolve the current corn crisis. Oh, what's that? We're listening, but I sure hope it's legal and safe. Well, the fire made the fields in infertile. Cars can't grow anything anymore. But I had developed a drill capable of spreading a blend of nutrients on soil to promote the growth of helpful microorganisms. I plan to show my prototype to the farmers at Cornfast. If you can find it and fix it, you can make the fields fertile again. Okay, that can help. Well, it sounds like a plausible plan, Mr. Piper. Is for Katrina? Let's go check it out. Thank you for hearing me out, Mr. Katrina. Here's somebody to pay for the drone's repair. Okay, we'll see if you need some repairing or not. Okay, some crazy drone is going to help help the fields. Oh, why did I call it crazy? It's helpful. But I'm going to Agribido's warehouse first to find the. Uh, collect uh, one of the corn grown there. Because I have a feeling it's. corns are filled with protozane. And I remember that. You know that we found some samples uh, from the meteorite that was. Meteorite can be able to grow life and or do the opposite. I think that's I think the samples from the from the meteorites uh, helped help the corn to grow. I think that's it. Corns are corn is filled with meteorite samples and more precisely with protozane. Okay, this is what we need. There isn't anyone around, Katrina. Now's our chance to collect some Agribido's cord and find out what's fishy about it. Yeah, can't wait to see what it is. Okay, now let's go back to the core fast to find the drone.
Who broke the drone? Katria, this has got to be the broken drone Mr. Piper told us about. Let's get these back together. Alright. Okay, first we are gonna collect some corn from the tray. Great, that should be enough for a sample from that tray for Amir to test. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait for the results. Already. <laughs> It. Now let's restore this drone. Perfect. Now that Mr. Piper's drone is reassembled, we just have to get it working again. And it could re fertilize all the fields that were burned. Alex can make the necessary repairs to get it working again. Let's go. Alright. We haven't seen Alex in a while. I don't remember the last time we met him. I want to know what's in this corn. Guys, you're not gonna believe what I found. Well, is it what I think it is? I assume it's about the corn stuff from the Agribidos warehouse. We're listening. Katarina, the corn agribidos is growing in their warehouse is full of protozane. Knew it! I knew it! Knew it! Protozane! The mind altering drug was that developed in the dome? Exactly. The drug that turns people into sheeple. The drug that turned me into sheeple when that crooked dreamlike scientist injected me with it. So our suspicions were correct. Rosetta did manage to get some protozane to Fornax. And now you're saying the drug is in the new corn? That we narrowly stopped the agribidos from selling to the farmers? So that's Fornax's real plan. Not the monopoly, but to distribute their mind altering corn to the population at large. Yes, and there's more. The drug infused corn is very resilient. That's why it's able to grow even in card soil. It also reproduces fast, and the mind-altering properties are replicated in the DNA of every new corn seed. I say that eventually all of Grisworth's corn will contain protozane? Yes, not only that, but corn is a basic ingredient in most of the foods we eat, in the form of corn syrup, cornstarch, dextrins, sorbitol, you name it. That means eventually the entire population of Grisworth would be under the influence of this drug infused corn. So, this is how an Astra plan to put their sheeple plot into action. Katria, we got to confiscate everything in that warehouse and secure it so no one gets their hands on that stuff. And this must be what the warehouse supervisor was so determined to keep secret. Let's go see what tune he sings now. Oh, I knew that there was some protozane in the uh, in the core. Well, there's there was going to be some way to distribute the uh, protozane around the entire city. So they planned to do that through corn, and I assumed it was going to be that, and I was right. Katarina, this is a pretty cool device. This baby can fertilize an acre of land in five minutes flat. That's impressive. Were you able to repair it? I sure did. Took it for a test run out in the parking lot. I even filled it with water to make sure the spray nozzles were working. The chief freaked out when she saw the drone spraying her car. These were cool once I assured her it was just water. Well, it sounds like this is exactly what the farmers need to quickly re revitalize their burnt fields. The farmers were rioting before. Let's get Sheriff Locus to help us spread the word about this solution. All right. Okay, let's go first talk to Abel. Mr. Drescher found out the secret about the core. 
It was infused with a mind-altering drug. What? Mind-altering drugs? Inspector Katarina, I knew the modifications were unethical, but I thought they were just company secrets to make the core more robust. Mr. Dresher, don't think your position can't get any worse just because you're already in jail. You better start telling the truth. Look, okay. I can tell you the boss keeps all the core level and documents in a safe disguise as a painting in the Angry Widow's headquarters. You heard him, Inspector Katrina. Let's grab something to eat, then head straight to Angry Widow's. And now I'm sorry to think that the uh, Angry Widow CEO is Fornax. Okay, let's go talk to Sheriff. Sheriff Lucas, as we understand that the farmers whose fields burned are in a bit of a tough spot. Yeah, that fire burned away all the good stuff in the soil. Getting anything growing will be a real trick. Well, someone we know created a drone device that may help rejuvenate the soil, if you're willing to let us try. Heck, Mr. Katri, I'm willing to let you try whatever newfangled idea you got to help these poor folks out. And before I forget, I got a little Springfield's momentum for ya. So I thank you for your help around here. Core necklace. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, let's investigate the Agribido's office. Let's find the safe. Van Gogh's is painting. Where's the lizard? You're right, Katia. This must be the painting Mr. Dreshner told us about. Look, there's a lock. I mean, it's a secret mind altering core documents are hidden inside. Let's see if we can get it open. Alright. Let's open up this painting. Let's see what's behind the painting. The secret safe hidden in the painting has a stack of documents in it. Let's add a little anything to chess. We'll send this whole thing to Cathy for examination. Oh, another analysis. Fine. Let's check out these documents. Katrina, the documents you found behind that painting hold a missing piece of the Ford X puzzle. But yeah, who is he? Please tell us you got definitely proof that Ford X is Julia Bryan. It has to be her. Oh, yes, there's proof here that Miss Bry had in fact received a shipment of drugs from Rosetta before we shut down the dome. Another document shows how she orchestrated the corn shortage, planning to introduce the drug infused supply to the ecosystem. So, Fornax is Julia Bry. The CEO of Agribidos is one of Rosetta's allies. I bet Miss Price was just position that Agribitos was ideal for her to advance that Astra's plans to rule over the sheeple. The goal they've nurtured this university. Yes, and there's more. I showed a painting to Jasper and he noticed something strange about the paint. 
So he examined it under ultraviolet light. Which reveals some words written on the painting. According to his special they turn out to be constellation names. Fornax, Andromeda, Orion, Cassiopeia, and Perseus. Oh, it's them all. Hold on, we know Fornax is Julia Bryan, and Andromeda is Rosetta. So that means... Orion, Cassiopeia, and per Perseus must be the codenames of the three and asteroids we haven't yet unmasked. Good point, Katria. It also means they wrote all their code names on a painting and didn't think they'd get caught. What arrogance. If Miss Bryan's example is anything to go by, they are still conspiring together to put their ideology in practice so they can rule over the sheeple. Well, not on our watch. We already shut down Rosetta's dream life, and now we have sufficient proof to stop Julia Bryan and shut down Agribidos too. Well, on that note, let's go and arrest Julia Bryan. Got you, dude. I got you now. Got you bitch. Okay, so Fornax was actually a woman. I thought he was going to be a man since Fornax sounds like a man name. Julia Bryan, you're under arrest for criminal conspiracy to distribute contaminated corn to the population. Contaminated? What are you talking about? Agribidos' corn is wholesome and resilient, and the farmers are desperate to plant it. Your game is up, Miss Bryan. We have proved that you received a shipment of illegal drugs from your old friend Rosetta, and what you plan to do with it. You are planning to turn the population into sheeple, as per the Adastra ideology you exposed. How? How do you know all that? Damn, this is what happens when the sheeple are in charge. It's over for you, Miss Bright. We're destroying all your corn and shutting down Agri Beatles. Ugh, all that work for nothing. Protoze was one of the great achievements of mankind, and now it's all gone. And you're going to jail for criminal conspiracy. Yeah, we got the second person, now we have three of them to go. Katharina, we found a solution to help the farmers grow crops in their fields again. And a go-ahead from Sheriff Locust to use it. And perhaps in the future Alex will refrain from testing such solutions on my car. <laughs> uh, sorry about that, Chief. Katarina, I want to thank you for what you've done for people here in Springfield. I may have moved to the city, but the community here still means a lot to me. Mia, that's our job. Also, while I'm here, Katarina, I was wondering if I could borrow your car again. Why? I see. So you were just thinking just to butter us up. Sure, it's no problem. No, I really meant what I said. And thank you again, Katarina. But Katarina, we are chained more than helping the farmers today. We have unmasked one of Rosetta's accomplices, Julia Bryan, or Fornax as she was known. Thank god you caught her in time, Katrina. Miss Bryan will face trial for what she's done. We destroyed all her drug-infused corn and Agribidos was shut down. Julia Bryan's arrest was a victory, but that's not the whole story. We also discovered the corn names for the remaining three members of Adastra. Yes, we know that Rosetta Pierre and Julia Bryan were only two players in a bigger conspiracy. And if there's anything we've learned from the past, it's that they are a force to be reckoned with. Katria, we must unmask their remaining three accomplices and make sure they don't have any more surprises for us. Yeah, are they, are they also CEOs of some bigger companies or not? I don't think we're going to catch Fornax this early. <laughs> A uh, severed head. Wow. Okay. Okay, three more cases left in Springfield and then we go to airport. Alright, we're gonna start here. We got a continue playing case number 46 in Springfield. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and I'll see you again. Goodbye!